This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. The title of this video clip is Searching, Sorting, and Creating. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, what are informational objects and how are these related to the World Wide Web? Number two, describe the skills that are required to find information on the World Wide Web. By the way, if you have never done so before, take a look at the advanced search features that are available in most search engines. Number three, describe, as if you were conversing with a student in one of your future classes, how do you go about choosing information that is appropriate to your search? And number four, what does creating or managing information look like? The HCHI model, Desjardins 2001-2005, is being used in this course as it outlines the major technological competencies that will be explored throughout the course. The informational order addresses issues pertaining to the use and generation of declarative knowledge. Note that themes in this order are inclusive of those that will be explored in the last module as the learner-user continues to interact with ICT so issues of user competency regarding interfaces, organizational structures, etc. are added to the complexities of finding and managing information in its various guises. The next slide provides a humorous representation of the situation in which we find ourselves when we suffer from information overload syndrome. This slide provides a link to a video clip produced by Xerox Corporation uh, entitled The Information Overload Syndrome. Take a look. Moving from the definition of information, according to Desjardins 2005, informational objects can be viewed as retrievable representations of declarative knowledge that are stored as text, images, multimedia, or in any other form accessible locally or through the Internet. In August of 2010, Wired Magazine had the audacity to declare that the web is dead, long live the internet. And that was a quote from Wired Magazine 2010, and you can take a look at it uh, by following the link that's given on this slide. What did the authors mean? The first sentence of the article gives us some indications. Two decades after its birth, so this is a quote, the World Wide Web is in decline, as simpler, sleeker services, think apps, are less about searching and more about getting." End quote. Another way to look at this would be to suggest that we are doing less surfing and spending more time on specific sites. We can explore some of the differences between the World Wide Web and the Internet by looking at the way that information is dealt with in each of these paradigms. It is proposed that the World Wide Web can be characterized with respect to information by finding or searching for information, selecting information, and then managing slash creating information. We will look at each of these processes in a little bit more detail in the following slides. So the first slide is about finding information or searching for information. This is a competency that can be described and viewed as uh, becoming skilled in the operation of different systems, browsers, and search engines used to access information on the web, and having to learn specific documentary research techniques, including the use of certain thesauri and bibliographic databases, the use of special Boolean search operators, or the creation of semantic networks. And that's taken directly from Desjardins 2005. Competency description for selecting information can be viewed as choosing appropriate information and the determination of the information's reliability and validity. That's taken again from Desjardins 2005. The competency of managing, creating information can be viewed as selecting information that leads to the production of new texts and documents using an array of knowledge and abilities deployed in order to plan, write, revise, and publish documents of all kinds. Again, that's taken from Desjardins 2005. For the related theory, I would uh, invite you to take a look, if you haven't so far, at um, the two articles that are listed, uh, Desjardins 2005 and Desjardins Lacasse and Bel Air uh, 2001. And in addition, I've added in an 
a module from the BED Information and Communication Technology course, uh, specifically looking at the informational order module, and the link is given on this slide. That brings us to the synthesis questions for this video clip, and these are as follows. Number one, why does Wired Magazine consider, to consider the World Wide Web dead? And an additional uh, question would be, what are the implications of this? Number two, while finding information on the World Wide Web seems to be an intuitively important skill, in light of the Wired Magazine declaration, why does it currently seem to be relatively unimportant to most people? And number three, creating and managing information has been an important function in education in the past. Why and how should we as educators be moving away from this function? And that brings us to the end of this particular video clip.